as you guys know i'm trying to do it all or attempting to do it all and by doing it all i mean etsy store doing this nine to five full-time nine to five work my clothing brand living officially my etsy store with my glass cups with these yesterday or as of two days ago i'm currently working on a different website to sell my glassware that you guys see me experimenting with with the pastel colors the flowers like that beer can cup the libby cups um i'm currently transitioning into making my own website but i'm still going to have etsy but that's besides the point because i'm trying to juggle everything i started off doing customized baby clothing which i still want to do but if there's just so much thing i just know that i can't do everything but because this is like the beginning i'm trying to see what i like i don't want to narrow myself down at all it's a bit tricky to try to take on so much things there's this saying those who chases two rabbits catch neither and i think that's what is happening to me but i just love doing everything at the moment so my long-term goal is to really create my clothing brand i've just got this big vision for it it's really gonna fill that nine to five space that corporate life well-being it's more towards well-being work-life balance because someday i'd like if this clothing brand should take off someday i would just love to sponsor someone on their annual leave like two days all-inclusive holiday for them and someone it could be them and their partner their friend their kid just sponsor two people sponsor their annual leave maybe the business can pay for off of the hotel fee that's living officially i just want to contribute towards people's happiness i just want to contribute to them living a healthier work-life balance so that's why the end goal is really to move forward with the clothing brand i take that money from the etsy store to invest into to my clothing brand so everything that's going on every other projects that i'm doing it plays down back to this brand I don't get anything from it. It's because I just have a long-term goal, which is to build this. And as for my Etsy store, I've got a new vision that I want to do with it as well. So that's going to be in another video. I'm still going to do Etsy, but there's another strategy that I want to start trying with Etsy. But that's in another video that I just don't want to go into now. But today we are just going to test out this Locklick Mini Eat Press. Locklick has kindly sent me their mini e press to review and test out and it came just in time for me to test it out on my clothing brand these are two pieces that i've been working on at the neck of all my clothing i always include my logo at the back of the neck i didn't get to include it right here so that's how you're going to see me demonstrating this mini e-press because you can use it for so many things you can use this mini e-press to put your label inside this is my recent design for my oversized t-shirt living officially it's now or never and we are going to put the living officially symbol or logo in the neck so we want a small one also i want to put my um the sizing label in here as well so that's exactly what i am going to use the lock lick um mini e press for so there will be an affiliate link below if we're well, after you've watched this video if you think this is something that you are interested in you can purchase it through my affiliate link because it will definitely support this channel for me to bring to you more gems more hacks more tips like this who knows locklet might send me something else that i can also test out for you guys before you buy it and review it so if you'd like to test this out after you've seen how i use this just feel free to purchase it from my description there will be a link below i've had one of these before but it's more expensive this is half the price of the one that i currently own so if you're looking for a of more affordable option this would be the one for you but let's go unbox this and let's go test it out on my new collection living officially it's 
now or never. For any heat press, you need something to press it on. I got this one from Amazon and I'll leave it in the description below. So this is what I'm going to put it on. So this is supposed to be the on button and when you press it, all three should be lit up green. So, one, two, three. These are heat transfers that I ordered a long time ago. but because I've decided to not use these big designs on my jogger sets anymore. They're still here, but I'm going to utilize them for something else like cushion covers. These are different. So you've got this transfer and you've got this transfer. They are totally different. They require different heating settings for these, which I'm really not going to go through now because I don't remember because I do not have the instruction with me. But these are the labels that I created for my clothing brand so i'm going to use one of these this right here as you can see it said small right here large and you see large there i made this on canva this is a gang sheet guys so i only need this bit right here that i'm gonna cut off we don't need the rest because this is going to go the back of the neck. So I did this one with a different mini e-press. So let's see if this lock-click mini e-press can do the same with this t-shirt. This is the design that is going to go right here because the color matches with the color on here. So it's going to be perfect. However, this t-shirt already came with the, the sizing which means i do not need to choose the label with the size because i make some with the size and without the size so if i can find those one i'll use them instead but first we are going to prep this shirt here and by prepping i mean we are going to take the mini heat press and remove the moisture use this first to remove the dust the lint then use the mini heat press and just remove the moisture from the part that we are going to press hopefully I'm doing it very straight I set up just taking a small space you know that these mini heat press they're very convenient and this bit here i can never use my other heat press to do it because of this area which it's not flat enough for my other heat press to get it there so that's why i always use the mini heat press for this job so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it right here hopefully it's straight i think if i put it here and I'm not going to use the Teflon sheet for this one. I'm just going to do that now. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press it down like this. Let's come from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I think this is cold peel so let me do that again always forgot that this is cold peel So I'm going to leave this to cool after I will get one of these to put on it. If you guys remember me saying that I made some of the neck tags without the size in them. So if you can see, those are empty. These you can see small, 
large. I did this specifically because of this reason, because some of the blank t-shirts, they come without the size and some of them with the size. So I did it specifically for this reason. So that means I can use this one. For the middle. These are gang sheets, guys, so that's why you can see all of that. So now I'm just going to rip this off and then I am going to go back in with the Teflon sheet. So I'm going to leave that. There you go. Let me feel it with my fingers. Nice. Nice. So now we're going to do in the middle here. So again, use the lint roll. And then use this. I'm worried because it's hot. So let's straighten this out. I'm gonna put it right in the middle there. So it's beeping because I've it's been on and I haven't been using it. So it's beeping to remind me that this is still on. I'm not sure if it's gonna turn off by itself. Mm -hmm. Just going to press on this again. I'm going to press for about 15 seconds. I am going to leave it there to cool. So I guess we can peel it off now. Let's cool peel. So you need to wait because I was lifting it before it's cool and it was peeling off. So if it's cool peel, oh. I need to wait on this to green again. So I was saying, if your transfers are cool peel, follow the instruction. Peel it off when it's cool. If it's warm peel, peel it off when it's warm. Because I just started peeling it off when it was not cool and it was lifting. And I had to pat it back down. And then, because I left it, it came right off. So let's see. And that's it. So that's my shirt labeled. So we've got the inside labeled and we've got the tag at the back, which I am loving. And this here, my design is complete. And I'm going to try this on so you guys can see the finishing look of this T-shirt. I can't wait to put this on my store. It's an oversized T-shirt and the material is soft. This is not Gildan or Bella Canvas, but Bella Canvas is such a soft t-shirt as well. So if you are starting a t-shirt business, start off with Bella Canvas. But Bella Canvas didn't have a oversized fit t-shirt. So that's why I went with this one, which I am loving. So I'm going to try this on. You guys see how it's looking. Okay, guys, so this is the look of the design. This is the look of the t-shirt oversized like me, I've got some big arms, so these are the shirts that I really love going for. They just, you know, give you that edgy look, so that's what I'm going for. And here at the back, my greens, is where the, um, the neck tag, hope you guys can see it at the back. It feels so smoothly go on, so the lock click really did its job. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> So once again, if you'd like to purchase the Lock Lake Mini Heat Press, it will be in the description below. This is part of a video that I did previously. So go and watch that video because in that video, you'll see exactly what I'm doing here, which is using the iron on vinyl to go on canvas bag because the transfer vinyl couldn't do it. So in my previous video that I'll link in the description as well so it's got easy access and no excuses you see exactly how i custom label this drawstring back so once again guys thank you so much for watching this video thanks for supporting my channel it means a lot 
And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.